Oh, all those fittings up to up to there are going, right? Yeah, probably. Up to here? There and back. Right, because that's... Now, having a running generator in the aft engine room sure is fun. Uh, it does open up some extra maintenance tasks that need to be need to be done. And one of those is at the end of the season, or say after every run, we would drain all of the water out of the engine. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you've seen us do that before. But what I do is I do crack this open, and this is this is the C strainer. And I'll get my light out for you. So you look down in here. I just want to make sure that, that uh, the C valve is is actually doing its job. So I'm going to open this and hope nothing comes out. Get this cracked loose. Sure. Nothing's coming out. Great. So the C valve is holding just fine. And there is no water in any of this plumbing. Good morning again. We're starting off and we're trying to make things a little bit easier to maintain. So this line here just kind of drops off and it goes all the way down into the worst part of the bilge. It's nearly impossible to get a full size human being down there for cleaning. And um, so this is the starting air line that comes here. So you see it comes down from the starting air tanks. And then it comes in here. And so when you're ready to start, you hold this. And then it feeds air into the starting air manifold. And it turns the engine over for you. Now, these old compressors, they don't have dryers on them. So there's always water inside of the starting air. And so back in the day, they would just, when they're not using the starting air, they would just crack this open, let all the water go down into the bilge, and then that would just get pumped out eventually. We don't have that luxury anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take 
uh, this nut loose. I'm going to move this line out of the way. And I've got my handy dandy water bucket. I'm going to drain out whatever is in there. meant to be. How easy that is to move. I heard some watery noises in there. Install for that now. No, this is just a um, dry fit. Dry fit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great time to to say if you want to join the crew here, you can send Tim an email at tim at ussslater.org. <laughs> that way you can wander in off the street every Monday or Tuesday. At least to get warm for the winter, right? According to the Navy manual, every few days, uh, the filter in the strainer should be, or at least the strainer, uh, should have the plug removed from the bottom and let all of the water and sludge uh, that is accumulated out. I don't know the last time any of that's been done, so we're going to go ahead and try to get uh, this valve loose and the plug loose uh, on that. And of course that doesn't want to move, why would it? See if I got uh, there. That'll work. That'll work. Let's get it moving first. There we go. Let's see. Let's take a peek. That's, that's old fuel, very old fuel. I think I'm gonna have to just completely remove the strainer and the filter. It's probably the smart thing to do. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. The doors are pink and gray. I was going to ask why it looks so glossy and, and fresh. I'm going to use a little touch up inside, but nonetheless. The dog is, it, done. is it dry? Yeah. Okay. Coming in with the video, huh? 
We gotta. <laughs> we have to show the people where the donations go. Oh, okay. Your pain club. We gotta pay your salary somehow, Ed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's too expensive. Why is it black? That is this, this stuff right here. It's oh, called Seal and okay. It turns, yeah. Yeah. It's a special metal primer. Mm -hmm. That's what had been on there. That's chemistry for uh, you. But we are going to end up painting it the marine enamel red. So eventually it won't be black. And then... Well, Murphy's Law has struck again. I put a good wheel on this and... Well, the thing doesn't turn. And I did put, I did put a wrench on there. I gave it a little bit, but I don't want to break uh, the stem there. So what I'll do is, and, and I did this off camera, but I did switch this valve out here um, because we're still going to go through the valves, but I'd rather start with valves that move. So I'm going to go over to the other engine and we're going to, we're going to borrow uh, another one of those valves so that we can get this one uh, get everything free and, and moving Either need to get stronger or get a longer wrench. touch-up in some spots. Yeah. I wasn't too concerned, but... Lost. I feel like you've done this before. Yeah, a few times. And in theory, this, this won't yellow like the old stuff did. In theory. In theory, yeah. Watch, in like 30 years, they're going to find out. Oh, it turns oh. out... You might be here 30 years. I don't think I'll be. Don't talk like that. I would be great. I'd be 102. No, we're going <laughs> to... I'd be the first 102-year-old volunteer. 